Today I'm with Trinity and Jay. Trinity, how old are you? I just turned 18. When was your birthday? August 17th. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Jay? Uh, I just turned 19. My birthday is January 19th. About to be 20? Yeah. Okay, what happened to your eye, dude? Um, out here, um, when I was on the streets, I guess, um, kind of got an infection in my eye, kind of like, I'm pretty sure it's called dry eye, and it's a blood vessel that basically broke and made eye drops. You guys are telling me that you're not from Phoenix. Where are you from? Nevada, originally. Nevada on the border, like the bridge right there, uh, Arizona Bullhead. Yeah, we live right there in Bullhead, Laughlin area. How'd you end up in Phoenix? Um, it's, it's a long story. We came out here originally to see a concert and we got stuck out here. <laughs> so four or five weeks ago you came to see a concert. Five to six weeks. And you haven't left since because... You know, we, we have no way to leave. <laughs> no money, no you know, We have nothing. no money, no anything. And we got stuck at a gas station and our friends just left us. And it's been terrible out here. What about family? And my mom's been um, struggling back at home. We don't really have home. any family, yeah. She, she has her mom she can't and stuff, afford but that's to even, you know, she has four kids. I'm part of the four, but you know, she has three kids back at home, and she just lost her house because the day I went to go see a concert, we had to move out of the house that we were staying in because it wasn't in her name, and somebody bought it from underneath her, and so she had to move out, and she can't afford it. You know, she can't even afford to live in a home, so she's staying with my grandma, so I can't even. You know, I, I don't want, I, you know, I love my mom and I know she, she's worried about me. And I try to, you know, let her know I'm okay, but she can't afford to help me out. You know, she can't even help herself out right now, so. And I don't have any family out here. I don't know anyone out here. Are you guys uh, doing blues? Lots of people do blues out here in this area. Are you guys using? Have you used? We've definitely yeah. used. Yeah, we've it's, been it's, blues it's a, a few shitty times. experience. Yeah. Especially when you can't come up with the money every day. Yeah, that's the reason why we just kind of. It's hurts, too yeah. hard. It's way too hard. And it hurts. It's, it hurts bad. It's a horrible you're on the body, you don't want to get up. You don't want to do your daily activities. You don't want to eat. So you came here for a concert and you ended up stuck out here. What are your plans going forward? What are you trying to do now? Um, mainly Stay trying to, just yeah, try it's been more of an adventure. It's been a terrible adventure, if anything, but we try to keep each other happy. We try to, even if they're all like the bad things. Hopefully try and figure out a way to, you know, figure something out. But, you know, I don't want to do nothing stupid for it. Like, I want to figure out a way to get home without having to, you know, yeah. steal or... You know, I don't know. We're just still trying to figure it out, really. What are you guys doing now to like make money to eat? We kind of, I'll go to Sometimes car, we'll like car wash. Handle, yeah. And then I'll go to car wash or gas stations. Oh, there's been a few times where people ask, ask if they want their windows washed and stuff. For drinks, we'll just go in like any fast food and ask for a cup of water. And then get whatever we want from the drink phone. <laughs> Sometimes if we don't want water here, most of the time we do cold water though. Especially out here. We definitely had to steal a lot of food. Yeah, a few times. But there's been times where people were literally just... Like today, somebody bought us Wendy's, and that was really cool, because I was literally just telling yeah, them, That doesn't like, happen often. Hungry. No, it's not enough nice really people. Hungry. What, um... If you weren't here, if you wouldn't have come to the concert, where would you be, and what would you be doing? be back home where it was nice to get it definitely figured something out and even though her mom was struggling we could have definitely figured something out and be in the house yeah we would be in a house but i just feel like it's harder out there because it's a smaller area you know but i think we'd be doing better because we'd have way a better than area. here i'd be more grateful down there <laughs> i mean i'm grateful for a lot of things What's been the biggest eye-opener for you folks from like a small town and arriving in the nation's fifth largest city? All the people and the struggle oh, and everything yeah. on the streets and everybody ever, you can walk down any street, you find a piece of foil and it's just like, it's almost attempting and that's why the first place we got into it, but it's, it's not worth it and there's too many people out here doing it.
it's, it's a lot more dangerous than like a small little town because everybody knows each other, you know. Out here, you you don't know anybody, you know. Nobody knows. I mean, no, people know each other, but not like a little small town. So it's a lot more dangerous out here. You have to really be careful out here. You guys, um, you mentioned you've been robbed already. Is that you're asleep and people just take your stuff, or how does yeah, that happen? That, That's yeah. literally how it is. We'll like not be looking at our stuff and I'll we'll be gone. Yeah, we'll actually leave like our we've backs walked away from a table like for like one time. minute. Literally, I was going to get her because she was, you know, didn't feel well, like on the swing set. And then I turned around, and our whole bag, duffel bag, was gone. Had all of our clothes, everything. I left my shoes. I was sleeping, and I left my shoes a little bit of ways away from me. And the duffel bag got stolen from me earlier that day. I thought my clothes and stuff in it. And the sandals, the only thing I had left was what I was wearing. And I left the sandals, you know, somewhere in the park. And I laid down on the grass and left them at the tables. And that just got stolen from me. So I was walking around with no shoes for like two days until somebody helped me out and gave me a pair of shoes. So it's just been rough. <laughs> Been an adventure. It's been, it's been a wild, wild adventure. Terrible, <laughs> there has been some adventure. good times, though. I mean, at first, when we first got here, we were just kind of like riding on the buses because the bus driver gave us a all day free bus, like bus pass. And that was kind of cool, you know, like just going bus to bus and riding the light rail, I thought, you know. Like a going tourist different. going through the city? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool. What a concert did you see? We're going to see a City Morgue concert. City Morgue? Yeah. What type of music called. is that? It's, it's a rap music. music. It's like okay. rap screaming. Okay. okay. Was the concert worth it? We didn't even get to see it. So you came over for a concert. You didn't see the concert. We were and stuck in Queen Creek. Because we left our wallet. Yeah, and we, 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 yeah we left our wallet and our friend's vehicle that left us here. <laughs> it's like one... One thing after another. Thing I after don't even another. know what we did either. Like, I'm... I'm too nice, I feel like. I don't know, maybe that's why I just, you know, let people take advantage of me because I'm so nice. Just looking at you guys in this neighborhood, you guys don't <laughs> belong here. You can just, you guys stick out like sore thumbs. Yeah. You guys are, I think look that's very why young, very little. Act that way towards us. And yeah, they try to bully you yep. and take stuff because you guys aren't familiar with the, yeah. the, the lay of the land. Like, you know, the... Mm -hmm. You don't know anybody here. You don't have no ties. Not from here. You guys, and people know that. Everybody here knows each other. Yeah. They went to school to each other. They're yeah, related to each other. They've dated tell. each other. They've been married to each other. Told They've told you what? They can just look at us and tell. Yeah, they just say, you know, like. So you have to, you have to consider that, okay? When when people approach you or or who you be befriend, okay? You have to be really careful, okay? Um, have you guys thought of going to like a shelter or for help or anything? Has that crossed your mind? Um, it has, but we just don't want to depend on other people. We want to figure it out ourselves in a way, but it's definitely coming more and more to that. Yeah, church or something. The church is the people told me. So, yeah, it's getting to that point, you know, because it's just not really working out. <laughs> Yeah, you're in a tough situation that sometimes it's okay to ask for help. This figure, this figuring it out by myself is not is not working for you guys. Obviously, you know it's been over what two months, right? It's not it's not working for you. Yeah. It's not working for you, you know. And so you didn't have to ask for help, whether it's a church or uh, a shelter, uh, because out here, man, you're just exposing yourself to further harm. Yeah. You know, there's people out here that take people. You know, yeah. this isn't. I worry a lot about that with that. Yeah, I'll take both of you. I'll yeah, take yes. both of you. You know, because yeah. again, you guys are, you know, young, very young, youthful looking. So I'm, I'm a little scared for you folks. Okay, but um, ideally, would you guys want to go back home or just trying to stay here and make it work? That's the thing, it's just back home, like, yeah, we could figure something out at first with, like, friends and gotten, I had a job for a bit, but I, I know I've gotten fired since I've been out here so long and stuff, and even if I did go in and explain that, I know they wouldn't give me my job back, and it's kind of gotten to the point where I would like to, like, go to, maybe, like, figure it out after I get a job and stuff, I need to work on getting, like, one of those free phones, 
and trying to figure it out and try to get a job and get us, you know, a weekly or something. There's more opportunities out here. There is in a small little town, but it's it's more scary out here on the streets. If uh, so, I normally ask, when you were younger, what you want to become as an adult? But for you guys. You know, when you were younger, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, what did you want to become as an adult? Uh, it certainly isn't this. No, so what did you dream of becoming? More of a chef. You want to um, become a chef? You like cooking? Yeah. That's cool. awesome, dude. Wow. <laughs> I want to be like a, like a business type woman, like either um, real estate or like just things like that or home decor, stuff like that. You're, you, you like, you're good at... Um, interior design mm -hmm. that's, that's awesome really and you're a chef you like cooking huh like, like the kitchen yeah. enroll in a school man you know here in the state of arizona you don't have you don't need a college degree to get your real estate license okay yeah. uh, there's plenty of culinary schools you just have to dig down deep and get situated right now and uh figure it out okay so it looks like you guys are gonna have to figure it out the hard way, okay? Because it looks like you have no support, no yeah. family or friends. It's just you two. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna give you my card with my number on it, so you can call me if you need a ride to a shelter or uh, need somebody to talk to. You guys are welcome to call me. Um, I'm gonna go get you some lunch, okay? Lunch has been donated by my subscribers, so. Um, I want to say thank you very much, Trinity, and thank you very much, Jay, for opening up, sharing your story, letting us know who you are and your struggles. And what would you, what would be your best advice for other young people that are looking for adventure and they want to just do things out of the blue? What, what, what would you advise them? Um, definitely look forward and yeah, plan it bit. out. <laughs> Don't just leap forward. Sometimes it's not worth it because you could end up on the streets. Or if you do leap forward, make sure you have something to be able to support yourself. Save up a little bit of money before you plan on just going on an adventure. Like, just something, or make sure you have somebody. Make sure you can trust people you're with. Yeah. Don't just trust anyone. Yeah, absolutely. And always keep your head, head held high because if no not, what. then you're just going to feel discouraged. And that's what's going to get you down and keep you down. Absolutely. Uh, great advice. I hope that you guys make it. Uh, try to survive out here. You need to get off the streets. Okay, that's going to improve your chances to be successful at life. Okay, so thank you very much. Stay safe and we'll talk soon. Thank you.